are are you are, are you suggesting for a moment that the fiat 500e that perhaps they made a marketing mistake when they thought well let's bring spike lee and g and carlo esposito together because well if those two don't appeal to everybody in america that would want an electric car i don't know what two would the fastest and slowest selling cars right now in the United States of America. Do you have any guesses before we jump into it, Dad, for some of the slowest selling vehicles in the United States? Slowest selling, slowest selling. Uh, sl I, I haven't seen this list. He doesn't share this stuff with me before the show. But if I were to guess the slowest selling vehicle in the United States based on day's supply it would take to actually sell the cars at the rate they're selling at now, would be the ever loving question to the answer to the question that was never asked. How about a Dodge Hornet? How about the Dodge Hornet? We've got a guess of Dodge Hornet. Let's come on down here. Drum roll, please. Dodge Hornet is on the list, Bob. So it's number 10 on our list. It is oh not my. the slowest selling, it is number 10 on the list with a 323 days supply, 13,477 for sale nationwide. 1,879 have sold in the last 45 days. So your guess did make the list, but it's at the bottom of the list. I am I am shocked. I, I you know, we need to have an intervention with 1,879 Americans who have recently purchased a Dodge Hornet. We, we need we need to find out how, why, and then what we can do to help them moving forward. There you go. That is number 10 on the list. The Jeep Grand Wagoneer L, 327 days supply. This means, folks, day supply means it would take this many days to sell all available vehicles. So in this case, for the Grand Wagoneer L, 1,328 of them, it would take 327 days to sell all 1,328 of them because the sales rate right now is they're only selling 183 every 45 days. Let that sink in. Every 45 days, they sell 183. Yet if they stopped production right now, there's still 1,328 out there for sale, leading you to your 327 days supply of inventory. Yeah. Can I help them out? They should stop production today. <laughs> okay. It's just, it's just that the, the Grand Wagoneer L, that was a vehicle that no one, no one asked for, but, but Jeep decided, hey, whether they asked for it or not, they're going to get it. We've got the Jeep Renegade rounding out our uh, bottom three here. The Jeep Renegade has a 332 day supply, 1,328 for sale, 180 have sold in the last 45 days. That is nuts. Uh, only 180 Jeep Renegades have sold in the last 45 days in the entire United States of America. Holy cow. There, there seems to be a, th a common thread here. And, and just looking at the list further, I, I can see that, well, 60% of the vehicles that are on this list happen to come from one brand, one manufacturer, and for those of you who can't guess, that would be Stellantis and and just proving that they're running every brand that they operate in this country um, into the dirt. They really then you've are. Got, you've got a string of electric vehicles, Dad, broken up by a Mercedes. We have the Audi RS e-tron GT 360 day supply, the Hyundai Kona electric, a 393 days supply. And then at the number five spot is the Mercedes-Benz GLC with a 448-day supply. And I'll jump straight to, uh, right to the Fiat. The Fiat 500e has a 454-day supply. Think about this for a second, folks. 448, 454. It takes over a year, in the case of the Mercedes-Benz GLC, to sell the 1,584 remaining on dealer lots. No wonder automakers are shutting down production of some of their vehicles. Are, 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 are you suggesting for a moment that the Fiat 500e, that perhaps they made a marketing mistake when they thought, well, let's bring Spike Lee and G and Carlo Esposito together? Because, well, if those two don't appeal to everybody in America that would want an electric car, I don't know what two would. <laughs> I mean, it's like you've got over a year supply of those, and, and my guess is a year from now, if they didn't build another one, they'd probably still have a year supply. That's yeah, just exactly. a guess. Exactly. All right, then we've got our top three slowest selling vehicles in the United States of America. The Alfa Romeo Stelvio with a 456 days supply. 
There are almost 1,400 for sale, yet only 138 have sold in the last 45 days. Number two on the list is the mini hardtop four-door dad with a 574-day supply, so mini sales not picking up. And then number one on the list, the Alfa Romeo Giulia, the sedan with a 617 days supply. These vehicles are not selling, folks. And the ones at the top of the list, especially that Giulia, they're not moving. Only 80 have sold in the last 45 days. I'm guessing if I needed to lease a uh, an Italian sporty type uh, sedan, the Giulia would be the way. I mean, I wouldn't buy one. Okay, but the uh, I might not be able to drive one even if I leased it because well, it is it is an Alfa Romeo. But if I'm thinking that there's got to be some pretty good deals out there on Julia's, you know, and 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 I remember what was it about seven eight years ago. You looked at one. You actually drove one. You took one for a test drive. You know, it's not a bad looking car. It hasn't changed in eight years, but it's it's not a bad looking car, but it's well, it's certainly a bad selling car. Jumping over here to the car edge car search pops. You can see I've come in and let's do Alfa Romeo Julia new. There's your nearly eleven hundred for sale nationwide. A lot of quadrifolios. So that's interesting to see. Ooh. Some of them are brand new on dealer lots, only seven days, but here you go. Wow, lots of quadrifolios. Here's some of the Veloge. Yeah, some of these are relatively new, only 14 days on the lot, 14 days on the lot, but there you go, 347 days on the lot, yeah, but, 290 but see, days on the lot, 394 days, et cetera. The good, news, the good news for the dealers that have some that have only been sitting on the lot seven days or 14 days, they, they, they can just put them aside because they know 480 days from now, they're still going to be sitting there. I hope they don't ever take the plastic coating off the cars. Uh, although, you know, if you let that sit on the car for close to two years, I guess it becomes permanently affixed to it. and You may never get it off. Who knows? Dad, let's jump here to the fastest selling vehicles in the United States of America. And number 10 on the list is right above your head there, the Toyota Corolla. And before we even run through the list, what do you notice off the top? What do you notice? We've had 60% of the uh, slowest selling vehicles were Stellantis vehicles. We've got what percent here, Dad, are Toyota and Lexus vehicles? Uh, 90. 90%. 90%. 9-0, folks. 9 out of the 10 fastest selling based on market day supply vehicles in the United States of America are Toyota vehicles. That is Can insanity. All right, you've got number 10 on the list, the Toyota Corolla, 31 days supply, 22,309 for sale. Yet, think about this, folks. In the past 45 days, they've sold almost 33,000 of them. So there are fewer for sale right now in inventory than they sold in the last 45 days. Whoa. Well, the, well, that's why it's a 31-day uh, uh, selling rate. Yeah, and that's why when we were talking to Marcello yesterday, who uh, runs Toyota World, there's not even even on some of the Toyotas, there's just not a lot of reason to discount them. Not not a lot of reason. No, to have but, but, I mean the one thing you're going to notice about about these ten cars, the average day supply in America right now for all brands, when you average it out, is I think seventy two or seventy seven days, something like that. So you're going to notice that every one of these is. Less than half, and in some cases, just a third or less than a third of of what the what the average is. So, if you're looking to get a deal on some of these vehicles, it would probably be a tad bit more difficult because they sell so quickly. Having said that, if you're looking for vehicles that you might get a deal on, you could probably look at some of the competitive models to these where they actually have some inventory and you could, you know, you might not end up with the Lexus or the Toyota, you know, you might end up with a Honda or a Mazda or an Acura. You could probably find yourself getting a much better deal as far as uh, discounts and things of that nature. Absolutely, Pops. Absolutely. Let's keep running through the list here. We've got number nine, the Toyota 4Runner, 30 days supply, 7,100 for sale, yet nearly 11,000 have sold in the last 45 days. We've got the Lexus NX Hybrid, 29 days supply, 2,253 for sale. But again, 3,556 have sold in the last 45 days. We've got at the number seven position, the Toyota Land Cruiser, 29 days supply. Toyota, uh, excuse me, the Lexus ES coming in at number six with a 27 day supply. And then the fifth fastest selling car in the United States of America is the Toyota Highlander with a 27 days supply. Now we start to get the one little dose of differentiation. That would be the yeah. Honda Civic, 
the hatchback variant, 26 days supply, 5,347 for sale nationwide, 9,282 have sold in the last 45 days. And then the top three, Dad, fastest selling vehicles in the United States of America, the Toyota Corolla hatchback, 26 days supply. There's 1,000 for sale, yet 1,772 have sold in the last 45 days. The Lexus GX, 22 days supply, 2,655 for sale. Over 5,500 have sold in the last 45 days. And number one, not too much of a surprise here, the Toyota Sequoia, 20 days supply, almost in the teens, that 20 days supply, 2,061 actively for sale nationwide, 4,631 of them have sold in the last 45 days. Though, you know, those numbers really are staggering uh, when you look at it, because for one, one manufacturer to control 90% of the fastest selling vehicles based on uh, day supply of vehicles, how quickly they're turning their inventory. Those Toyota and Lexus dealers must be making money hand over fist because A, they can't keep the cars in stock. B, they don't really have to discount the cars. C, um, they're all making money through their floor plan assistance from Toyota and Lexus because these vehicles aren't staying on the lot long enough for them to accrue any interest that is owed to the bank on that particular piece of inventory. Kudos to anybody that has a Toyota or Lexus dealership. Um, you guys are, are, are rolling in the dough. It is, it is like having a, a printing press for money at the moment. 